In today's review, I'll be checking out this futuristic looking page to see if it's got the smarts as well as the looks. If you're new to Bitcoin mixers, they do exactly what the name says. People deposit their Bitcoins and these coins change owners, making it hard to trace the funds and impossible to prove ownership. If you thought Bitcoin was anonymous, I've got bad news. All we hear about today is how big data and artificial intelligence is used in ways never thought possible before and how much personal information is collected by governments and corporations. With that in mind, it's obvious that the blockchain is a gold mine. Coinbase.com already banned some users for selling Bitcoin on local Bitcoins based on blockchain traces. So anyway, back to the Bitcoin mixer. This is how I fight back. You put in your address. I put in three addresses for extra privacy. It gave me a deposit address. I sent the minimum 0.1 bitcoins. Now, I won't bore you with the details because it worked as expected, but there are a couple of interesting things I noticed. The first one is, the cost is free on average. In practice, it goes from minus 1% to plus 1%, so you'll never get exactly the same amount of bitcoins back. It will be a tiny bit more or a tiny bit less, making it even harder to trace. It's a clever solution because no analyst will be looking for more bitcoins going out of the system than there are coming in. The second interesting thing is the amount was split up into two random percentages going out to my three addresses. It's all random, very fuzzy, but in the end, I still got my bitcoins plus some extra. The third cool thing about this particular mixer is that the mixing actually happens later. You're getting clean coins off the shelf as soon as your deposit confirms. The only thing I didn't like was the lack of QR code below the deposit address, which would be good for smartphone payments. But overall, it's a good service. Have you tried it? What is the maximum amount you mixed? Leave a comment.